I want to share a trading system with you, open code that I released and shared back in December 23rd, 2021 on my YouTube channel. I have not added it to my YouTube members area, but I will. And I want to give you the latest on this. It's had a huge trade yesterday, and I want to sync up with where we are now in this. And so let's take a look. I showed you the results from December the 23rd going back one year. 25, 180, $5,700 drawdown, 17608 average trade profit. And I want to show you the, you know, if you scroll back, you can see the open code in this. Here is the, um, it's not the complete, let's see, I added some other things. And so here is the open code right here. So you see the open code and you saw the results. Now let's take a look at it. Um, I set the date to the same date and the same open code so we can make sure we're in sync with what we had back in December and so the same results December 23rd 2021 going back one year 25 180 uh, $5,700 drawdown this is in trade station 10 176 average trade profit exact same results and the code is exactly the same right here so you can see the um, results. I want to look at the out of sample analysis. We call this robot. A lot of times uh, trading systems are called robots. I just call them trades, trading systems, but I, I've called this one a robot just so that you understand that robots are just simply trading systems. And so data edit symbol. Let's go to the current date. Let's go to today. And let's go five years back using the exact same strategy and you can see what this strategy was done. It's a huge trade yesterday. Uh, $59,083 average trade profit and a $9,500 drawdown. You can see sometimes when you start trading a system, there's this kind of this initiation um, market. Sometimes it just initiates a new strategy and you go through this serious losing streak and then this run up. And so let's take a look at some ways to improve this. One thing I found is that just a $400 stop loss is better. I'm going to show you some coding tips for this. And you can see here that just a $400 stop loss really improves this strategy. You see that one drawdown, that huge drawdown that went away, just barely um, stopped out many times. $99 average trade profit, a 10 455 drawdown. And since this time period, I'm sure... Um, the worst case drawdown is less. We can go back and look back to uh, 326 around the time the Fed started massive pandemic stimulus. Um, so let's do that. Let's just take a look and see the out of sample analysis from the beginning of the Fed stimulus on March the 23rd, 2020, using just a super tight $400 stop loss on the NASDAQ. It's extremely tight. $208 average trade profit. $7,600 drawdown, $67,000 total net profit. And this is a strategy that you could trade. I'm going to improve the coding on this. I'm going to change this to robot. And um, you'll see that there. And so robot. I want to change it to call it a robot. And so it just doesn't say entry name. And you can also see um, the largest losing trade is $400. let us go back historically. And I want to improve this a little bit more, showing you how to use a don't trade on holidays function. Let's go back to 2017 or 2016, actually. And we'll take another look at this. 82, 665, 89, 17. Still the worst case drawdown is 10, 455. And you can see not a bad strategy. It's, it's amazing how simple this strategy is and how well it has done. So let's go back to the code. I want to give you some easy language programming tips in this video. So we're just going to move these um, comments to the top. And I'll put my URL up there as well. So you'll know uh, how to access this if you watch this video. And we're going to also add the don't trade on holiday function. So we're going to have inputs. Oftentimes you see inputs in a strategy. And if you come in here and you take a look at this, right click, studies, edit strategies, uh, you don't see any inputs there. There's no inputs. 
So you have to add inputs, you have to define inputs to get those inputs there. And some of the things that we like to add for inputs are contracts. Um, one contract, uh, don't trade if holiday true. Um, let's say stop loss uh, true. Stop loss amount four hundred dollars. So um, we can say now um, if condition one condition one is nine thirty five and you want to have this on uh, your computer on Eastern Standard Time. If you have it on Exchange, this will need to be eight thirty five. And so um, I have it on local and my computer set on Eastern Standard Time. So um, that's condition one. If condition one, um, and you could you could just add those rules there in this list instead of having condition one. You could put if time is equal to 9:35 and close is greater than close D of one. Close D is the close of yesterday, the daily close of yesterday. Um, and and I'm going to put this don't trade if holiday section right here, so you'll know how that works. Uh, we have the don't trade on holiday function. Also in the trade station training, so you can learn that. And so, um, don't trade if holiday is equal to false. Uh, we have it set to true, so don't trade on holidays has to equal to one. And there's a function on that that you can learn how to do. But you can just basically set this line up, set it to true, and it won't trade on holidays. The reason we're doing that is that if you take a look here, the largest losing trade is $840. $840, we have a $400 stop loss, and it's a day trade strategy. So how do you find what's going on here? Look at the maximum adverse excursion under trade graphs. You'll see there are three trades that hold positions past the close on holiday. So February the 18th, 2019. So let's scroll back to that. So right here, if I scroll back to February the 18th, 2019, there's a holiday there. You can see how... The session, these red bars are, are closer together. It's not a full session. There's a holiday there. Um, and then it holds positions past the day session. Stopped out right there at the open of the next day on a bigger value than the stop loss. So what happens is, is we have a list of holidays. And we don't trade on those holidays that are holiday shortened se sessions. The stock market is closed maybe on some, some of these. But the futures are open half a day. Um, to offset anything that happens in Europe. And so um, condition one, don't trade on holidays. So we can make sure we don't trade on that list of holidays and the holiday function. And so if you go to my homepage, you can learn about that on the TradeStation training. And so if we click on that, that trade goes away. That trade goes away. And you can see the worst case drawdown is $400 and the maximum adverse excursion and the drawdown is 7,600 now, and it improves. It improves the drawdown to have the don't trade on holiday function. We don't want to trade on holidays unless you. I mean, you might want to trade on holidays. You might have a strategy that trades holiday half days, but this strategy doesn't want to do that. So we put that in there. Don't trade on holidays. Then buy next bar at market, and then buy. Um, what about um, if you want to note the number of contracts? Contracts contracts so you, you could you could change contracts right here is one of the inputs from one to two to three or four or five um, and then you have your stop loss so one of the things we want to do here is if you want to turn the stop loss off you could and say for example if you wanted to add a trailing stop loss so if stop loss that means if it's true then set stop loss to stop loss amount. So you could say if stop loss equals true, but you don't have to. It just means if stop loss, it defaults to true. Now if you want to say, for example, if stop loss equals false, that would, you would have to tell it. But by default, if you say if stop loss, that just means if stop loss is true. So um, another input you could have is say exit time. And then you could say um, right here, you could change that as one of the inputs and optimize it. If X time is 1555, and once again, this is if your computer your computer has to be on Eastern Standard Time. 
and you, you, the data has to be set to local. So what I mean is right click data, edit symbol, and you can do local or exchange. It's set to local and my computer's on Eastern Standard Time. So I've added um, the URL up here to, for contact information. And sometimes I, like, I don't like to put these all out on the line, so sometimes I do it like this. And exit time here. And one other thing you could do is say profit target. This doesn't work that well with a profit target. It's just best to let it run. Uh, profit target amount. And you can say a thousand by default. And we're going to say false on this one by default. False. So you could say um, if profit target, and by default it's false, so it won't be it won't signal unless you set it to unless you set it to true up there on your inputs, then set profit target PRFTG AMT and So there you have it, very nice trading system, uh, complimentary, uh, really, it's really unusual to have such a simple strategy, work so well for so long. This is what we talk about a lot in our uh, videos, a lot about the Fed's QE pro uh, program, the stimulus uh, constantly makes the market go up. If you try to do the opposite of this, oftentimes if you have a strategy like this, the opposite will work say on the short side if you say if time is equal to 935 and close is less than the close D of 1 you can make that condition to use your don't trade on a hol holiday then sell short next bar market um, and then cover at 1555 you would find that it w may not work as well as the long side but it should work some it doesn't really work well at all and that is the bias in this market uh, massive bias there's been an upward bias in the stock market for years and because it has to do with the, a lot to do with the economy but it's an extreme bias now with also including Fed stimulus and so um, the opposite of a lot of these signals uh, over the long term should uh, should work a little better or should should work a little bit you know somewhat maybe not tradable but somewhat but it's not even doesn't even work uh, somewhat so um, the opposite of this. So this is the long only version. It will probably continue to work or it may not work. You know, past performance is not indicative of future results. So it may not work going forward, but this is one way you can do it. You can also see the inputs now, studies, edit strategies, and you can see these inputs here now. You can optimize these. You can set this to false. You can set the stop loss to false. You can set the profit target to true. Uh, you can change the exit time. You could um, also make this um, 9, 9.35. You could also change that to a different. You could have that as an input start time, or it's actually equal. So it only only executes at 9.35 each day. And so that is um, what I wanted to share with you, how to improve the robot that I released. I didn't improve the strategy at all, except don't. The entry rules are the same. The only thing that I updated was don't trade on holidays, um, which affected three trades that held positions overnight. We changed the stop loss by $100. That's the only thing uh, systematically that we changed. Cosmetically, we made the code better. Uh, we included inputs for contract, stop loss, profit target, exit time. So cosmetically, there's some improvements. But functionally, the strategy only changed the stop loss by $100 and only added the don't trade on holiday function. I'm going to show you where you can get this strategy. You want to go to capstonetradingsystems.com, click on this logo here to get back to the actual home page. Scroll down, and here's the TradeStation training, mem training and FAQ members area for the don't trade on holiday function. It's FAQ 15. You can learn about that. And then the Capstone Trading YouTube exam Easy Language Examples, it will be here. It's not here while, as I make this video because I'm going to include the video. And so once you see this video, it will be um, in the next section down. And so you can get access to training and learn how professional trading systems are developed in this section. 
and I have one additional rule I found that works here and that will be a closed code solution for my subscribers more on that later hey David Bean here welcome to Capstone Trading Systems YouTube page be sure to subscribe to join our community of algorithmic traders we are real money traders we share our winning streaks we share our losing streaks as well as market updates strategies and coding tips